there is something I've realized. I do not know that it's only me who has paid attention to it, but I know some of you have also paid attention to it. Do you realize that we hardly celebrate fathers? We hardly celebrate fathers, good fathers out there, to an extent that we even forget their day. Trust me, I'm not lying to you. Even that woman who told you Happy Father's Day was just reminded by the messages they either had on radio or TV or on social media. They had forgotten. Yet in reality, for us women, when it comes to our days, women's day and you forget, my darling, oh, don't dare come back home. A woman can strangle you. Oh, so you were there busy wishing your mother and other women, eh? Happy Women's Day. Me, the mother of your children, you forgot. We make a big deal out of it when our days are forgotten. But when it comes to men's days, hey, we forget. Totally. And the, 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 the surprising bit is men don't even complain. They don't complain. I was, I was listening to radio a few days back when a man called in and said sent dedicated uh requested for a song and dedicated it to fathers out there why do you think he was doing it because he realized no one is doing it for them we the women have forgotten it's only their children once in a while just in case they've remembered that wish them father's day not only father's day men need to be appreciated when you have a good father out there you need to appreciate him you need to show it you need to tell to tell him You need to show that man you appreciate him. Uh, to some people, some people say, you know, why should I appreciate someone who is doing his responsibilities? Yes, he might be doing his responsibilities right. But not all men are doing their responsibilities. I'm so sure we have a majority of men who do not acknowledge their even fathers. They are fathers. They know they are fathers. They even say they have children themselves. When they, they go somewhere, they're like, I have children. I have two children. When they don't even know the schools where their children go to. They do not, some even forget the, the, the years of their children. We still have that, those kinds of fathers. Who totally don't care. Some separated with the women and they, 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 they just decided to forget the whole home. You forget the wife, you forget the children. You leave the children with the woman and you move. Regardless, life goes on. So for you who has a father, a, a has, a, he might not be your husband anymore. You know, you people might have been separated. But when he's playing a good role as a dad, when he cares to know they are doing well, when he still sends in school fees, when he still spares time and comes to school to check on the children, my darling, you need to appreciate that man. You need to give him his, his flowers when he can still smell them. Send him his flowers when he can still smell them. Do not wait for him to die. And you'll be like, oh, I had a good man. Okay, we had separated, yes, but he was a great father. Can you imagine? Why do we really need to wait and appreciate the gone, the deceased? <clears throat> hmm? I do not want to be here and, and talk a lot about it. I know you people understand me. This is a call to us ladies. Please. Some of us have been blessed. Some, are, some of us have not been blessed. So for us who have been blessed, just in case you're blessed, to have a responsible man for a father of your children, even when you separated, still appreciate him. And if you're together, still appreciate him. Because he's playing his roles right. Res being responsible is not, it doesn't only, it's not about getting much money. Someone might not be having much money. It's out of love, out of the care they have. We've seen wealthy men drug to court they, they're not paying fees yet he's a billionaire hey so for you who was a man hmm? Hmm. hotels sweats to ensure you have a plate of food a day to ensure you have a roof over your head to ensure you dress hmm? 
to ensure you don't lack. You might be lacking some things, but you have the needs. Oh, God. You need to appreciate that man. So, to our men who are forgotten, to our beloved fathers who are forgotten, to our husbands who are forgotten, to the responsible fiancés and boyfriends out there, happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. And to those fathers who decided to adopt children they didn't give birth to, happy Father's Day. It might come in late, it's a late message, but hey, we appreciate you. We know you. We see you. We see what you go through. And we pray God blesses you. May you never lack. May God fill your hearts with joy for being good fathers to our children, to the generation. Otherwise, that is it. I hope it. Uh, every father out there gets it and love it and feel the love we have for them. We appreciate you. We do not take your, your love for granted. In Luganda, we have a saying, keep doing what you're doing. You're doing a great job and God may God bless you. May God bless you for being great fathers. My father, Mr. Richard Sabolime, you're special, you're God sent. I had to be your daughter. I'm blessed to be your daughter. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Happy Father's Day, my love. And to the man, the father of my children, Happy Father's Day. To the world, Happy Father's Day. We love you, men. We love you, fathers. We love you. God bless you. <laughs>